All right, so this is the CMF Watch Pro and I'm gonna tell you how such a beautiful piece of hardware can be ruined by software and lack of efforts by the manufacturer. It comes from the same company that makes nothing phones and earbuds but out of all their products, this is the worst they have ever come up with. You can view my old Nothing Phone 2 review video which I have praised greatly for its build quality, looks, performance and the software experience. The watch does get the build quality right but it seriously lacks in the software experience. It's got a metal body with a large 1.96 inch beautiful AMOLED touchscreen. The watch itself is lightweight, has a good quality strap and a speaker and mic for making and taking calls. It has a good battery life of about 4-7 to seven days with always on display which is good and you can go further with low power mode. It has some basic health tracking features, heart rate, SpO2 and an IP68 rating. So far, the specs might look good, right? Let's take a look at the software now. For months after launch, the app had constant disconnection issues. It won't stay connected even when the app is in background, both for iOS and Android. Now they have pushed several updates to fix this and they have sort of succeeded, but still users report disconnection issues. I've seen cheaper smartwatches do a better job at maintaining a Bluetooth connection. When you open the app, it does a GPS update which takes up the whole screen and it does this multiple times a day. The app simply doesn't work without internet. It weirdly tells you to log into the app but I'm already logged in. Not all the settings are accessible both on the smartwatch or on the app. You can't toggle AOD from the app and unit settings can't be done on the watch. The watch faces are really limited both in colors and in quantity. They are all orange and they don't allow community build watch faces or to change the accent colors from orange. They did a collaborative event for custom watch faces months ago and just released a few of the winners but they still won't let us customize them or change the color themes. The image watch face can't use 12 hour clock or an analog clock. The watch faces don't have customizable complications as well so I can't add for example the date, battery or steps to the watch face I really like. These things indicate CMF isn't really serious about this watch. You can't choose the quick widgets. Neither can you scroll them up for more info. You can't have the music controller at a swipe. You need to wake it up, open the menu and search for the app. The app grid can't be reordered as you would like it to be and you can't even reorder the quick setting tiles. There's no AOD toggle in the quick settings so you need to go through multiple steps to enable it. The watch mirrors the notifications from your phone. Now I don't know if this is a bug but you can't read one notification twice. This means when you get multiple consecutive notifications, the watch removes the previous one to show the last. You can go back into the notifications and check the previous one, which is weird. The watch lacks an ambient light sensor, so there's no auto brightness. It doesn't have a barometer or a gyroscope, nor does it have a compass, which they seem to be weirdly proud about because the FAQs say this twice. Notifications seldom don't show up contact names, even when it's saved on the watch. This has been reported by a lot of Redditors as well. It can only store up to 20 contacts. The dialer is really badly designed. The dot font surely looks cool on a phone but the contact name is barely visible in an incoming call. The call quality is okay but you can't route them to your phone or the CMF buds. There's no lock screen on the watch. I guess CMF didn't feel it's necessary. The app doesn't record previous day health data. Not to mention the privacy fiasco that I showed up on Reddit. I had never even seen this guy in my entire life, yet his picture was on my wrist. Still wanna buy the CMF watch? Okay. The watch's timer vanishes if you go back home. It doesn't run in the background, so you can't see the actual time while running a timer. Same is the case with a workout. During a workout, if I go back to, let's say, change music tracks, the workout just vanishes from existence. The watch doesn't show much data while in a workout or even the time for the matter. The health tracking seems okay though. There's no way to change the font size. Google RCS and iMessage isn't supported. The weather app needs my phone to have location always on every time for an update, which drains my battery life. And topping it all off is the bug where the watch will randomly light up the display at night when not even moving my wrist or even wearing the watch. This happens even when race to wake is disabled and battery saver is enabled. 
I request CMF to improve and fix all these issues on this watch and look at this as a positive criticism for their next watch which is gonna launch soon I guess and I request CMF to listen to their watch users for feedback and check their own forums as most of these are listed as open bugs on their website. I don't know why they went with the pro name for this watch. Cheaper smartwatches have better features or at least a more well thought out software experience. The only thing I love about this watch is its battery life. It loses less than 10% of battery life in a day with AOD enabled which is really great and I hope CMF retains this on their second watch and they have a long way to go on the software front. I bought this watch in January so that's 6 months now. The watch hasn't fixed much of the issues and it'll probably stay this way since they'll be focusing on the next watch but I do hope they can push some updates to address these for the watch 1 buyers and really build on for the watch 2 or else it's the end of CMF watches. Thanks for watching.